All right. I got to go to part two. My alarm went off for my medicine, so uh, it stopped the video. That's all right. Ooh, look at that. It's bubbling. Oh, yeah, it's softening up. It ain't ready, but it's softening up. But all right, I'll see y'all in a minute. I got it on airplane mode, so maybe no calls or nothing will knock me off this time. Man, I really got to find a good camera, but I'll be back. All right, Danielle's fixing to make some taters. It's good that she knows how to cook. I'm not going to say it's good, but she knows how to cook. <laughs> Potatoes O'Brien with onions and peppers. Now, that's got to be good. Look, going for scissors. She couldn't even get out a road trusty dull knife. Nope. <laughs> anyway, it's to cook on the frying pan. It's, it's, how do you know what crack looks like? It is. Should have cooked only half, though. Okay. Yeah, bump into me. Make, uh, see, that's Danielle's fault. It's shaky. It's not my old age this time. But, <laughs> come on now. Alright, I'll be back. She keeps running into me. Alright, I figure while I got y'all here, I want to do some shout-outs. Let's see. All my stuff's in medical order, so it might be hard to find some of them. Here's one right here. Mr. Bearded CB82. CB he does a lot of mechanical stuff, which he'll take uh, tools and put them to the max just to see what their cracking point is and see, you know, how they break, which is pretty cool. Some of them, they snap real quick, and some of them, they actually last a while. But uh, I really love his channel. He, um, I guess I showed the red hat a while back, the snap-on. He's the one that sent me the snap-on hat. Okay, let's see. Bentley's Backwood and Bushcraft. I really like his channel, too. He's always doing something in the woods, and as he says, you know, get outside, even if it's only in your back in your backyard. But uh, he's always uh, filming, you know, animals, you, you know, bird. Uh, uh, he did a snail one time, just a snail in the water, but it was just as cool as can be. But I love his nature videos. But, um, yeah, y'all go check his out. Let's see, uh, now, a family channel. Have y'all heard of Able Family Life? It's a family of, uh, was it, five and two dogs. They're fixing to do a camping video. But it's a dad that's in a wheelchair. They got the mom, two daughters, and the son, which the, uh, one daughter and the son, they're twins. They're boys and girl, twin. But uh, they do wheelchair challenges and all kind of challenges. I mean, I, you're, you're guaranteed to laugh. You know, it just, they're really great videos, really great family. I, I love even chatting with them. They'll even, uh, you know, answer back and talk to me, you know, when I comment. So it's really nice. You know, a lot of channels, they just, they don't do that. They just, you know, I guess they just go on. Well, let's see. Let's find another one. Here we go. Cab 7. He loves the outdoors. He loves bushcraft and all of that. He does a... Almost every day Every day he does a live show. He gets on there for a couple hours and people get together talking and laughing and joking and just have a blast. And if you like peanut butter, I bet you can't eat as much as old Cab 7. He loves his peanut butter. Let's see who else we got. Ugh. Oh, here's one. Beyond the Bounds. If you like fishing, you got to check this man out. He does uh, uh, kayak fishing in tournaments and everything. And, um, oh, man, he's got a nice kayak. It's got everything on there. But um, he's the one. He actually uh, sent me some jigs once. Um, I just started watching the show, and um, he... Popped my name off on the front, said he had some stuff for 2016 he wanted to send me that was left over, and some great jigs. I've already gave a few away to some kids. I can't wait to give some more away. Okay, 
Boy, this thing is touchy. This one right here. Brian J123458. Now he's into the bushcraft. He's into fire starting. He's got some nice guns. You know, he's little this, little that, and little everything. He has his boys on there helping him when he starts videos, doing mail calls. He is a really nice guy, and he's one to, he will not end a sentence without saying, God bless you. So, yeah, he's a good Christian man, got a good Christian family. Y'all should uh, go check him out. Then we got, here we go, Carl the Madman. Lives up in Canada. He does some cool stuff. He actually makes knives. He uh, takes uh, the nails for uh, train tracks. Them big nails, and he makes knives out of them, puts twists in them. Really cool. I'm hoping one day I can get one. I had one years ago, which, you know, they don't get real sharp, but they're they're nice, you know. It's something that, you know, nobody's got. But um, I really, really want to buy me another one. I don't remember what happened to the last one either. Somebody took it, or I gave it away to somebody because somebody wanted it. Either or, somebody else has got it, and they're enjoying it, so... uh yeah, got a lot of good people on here. Dalton Thomas, he does uh, a lot of good videos. He um, goes and finds coins and stuff, does the metal detecting. You got Mr. C-Max Arms. Now, um, a lot of y'all that watch me, y'all know Mr. C-Max. Uh, keep him in your prayers. Uh, the man's uh, going through some tough time right now. He's doing chemo. But he's doing good. I haven't heard from him in a couple of days, but uh, please keep him in your prayers. Oh, let's see. Who else we got? Why is this not working? Uh, oh, Double Gage. Double Gage is a good kid. He does some pretty good stuff. He sings. Got a real good voice. Uh, we got Frog Tack uh, Sanctuary. Got Gators World, which remind me Gators World. Let me cover this up. I'm going to be doing a, a mail call here pretty soon. He uh, sent it to my big and little fishers, but um, he um, asked me if I wanted some stickers, which is cool because, you know, I've got a few of them now. It's, they're really going good. I can't wait to put them on something, and I'm really thinking about the back of my RV. They got that window. I can put them inside the window, and... uh. Put them on a, like y'all do on the poster board, but I could put them in the back window, and if I ever get rid of the RV, I could take them out and put them in something else. But, um, we got some good names up on there. We got, uh, Greenstone Grits. Oh, my God, they're funny. They, uh, got the Awkward Dad videos, which he plays the bass, which he says he's the best, and I haven't heard many, so he's, he's, I, I think he's pretty good. But, um, he's learning to play more. He, you know, you can tell him, ask him to play something, and, you know, if he's playing, he'll play it. We got, um, he's Schroeder, real good guy. He sent me my first, uh, little credit card knife and sent me one of them lenses, uh, uh, feral lenses, what do they call them that you start a fire with? We got Mr. Hard Target, Handy Camper, Grizzly Taco. These are all, uh, Great American Survival. These are all good guys. Hiking with Mike. But, uh, yeah, go check out some of these guys. I, I think you'll really enjoy them. Hook Setters USA. Now this here, he's uh, let's see where is it? he's affiliated with uh oh my god uh the guy over in New Mexico, uh, Muddy River Cat Fisherman. But they got these hook setters. They're you know you ever heard of uh yo yo fishing? It's kind of like a yo yo, except it's a stick. And you, these, he, there's one here that you can actually put under a bobber. And uh, let's see if I can get them to show it. But um, they got this bobber too. It's made out of a noodle. It's for fishing big catfish. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't know if this is a video where he used it. No, this ain't the video where he used it. But anyway, go look up. Oh, that ain't even his anyway. Yeah, it is. But go look up Hook Setters USA. Muddy River Catfishman come out with this uh, 
hook setter that's a, a long tube. It's got a wire and a spring inside with a hook, and when the fish bites it, the string pops up inside the tube and it hooks the fish. Like the yo-yo, but these won't rust and fall apart. You know, they're cool as hell. I really want one, but they're, you know, they're a little too pricey for me. So, I, I can't get one. Let's go check on this fish. Oh, I gotta excuse my dirty floor. I'm still going through stuff, getting ready for a yard sale. I mean, I got all this stuff I gotta get rid of. You know, all this stuff here I'm selling for a dollar. I just... All these, you know, the books I'm probably giving away for free. My NASCAR is going to go cheap. But, uh, I mean, I got all kind of stuff I got to go through. The pictures I'm still trying to figure out, you know. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get my trailer loaded up and get rid of all this stuff. I'm just, it's too hot. I can't do this anymore. You know, during the winter, it's too cold for me. During the summer, it's too hot for me. You just, you know, if I get the RV going... Where I could get in and cool off or get in and warm up, you know, it won't be so bad. It's just uh, setting up is what really kills me. Ooh, it's getting flaky. I wish I had a thermometer where I could stick in, but I usually tell by putting in there. I bet another five, seven minutes, I bet that'll be done. I can't wait. Oh, it smells so good. But anyway, sorry to blab on so much. Um, I'll be back when it's done. Thanks, y'all. So, can you see that? There's that hook setter. See, it's just a long pole, which that's a small one. He's using a balloon. He ain't using that other thing. But that hook setter right there, it's just a pipe, a metal pipe, and it's got a spring and everything inside of it, and it helps catch the fish. Yep, yeah, I really want to get some. Watch out. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I love yo-yo fishing, so this, but I've got like four dozen yo-yos. I can't afford, I mean, them things are 15 bucks a piece. Or, well, that one's seven ninety nine. That on that swim jigs. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll get me a few of them one day and try it out, you know, on the fishing pole. You know, I don't know if I get the ones to set up for the big catfish, but because uh, I go yo-yo fishing, I set out two two dozen at a time. You know, I can't really afford, you know, because the, the big ones are, you know, they're 15 to 25 bucks. And that's just, you know, it's not in my budget, you know, but uh, I will get a few because uh, the Muddy River Fisherman, I love that man. He sent me some hats to give away to some kids. He's a really nice guy. He even sent me a $50 uh, gift card to buy some fish and stuff. I bought a couple, which I thought I lost it. It was all spent. I went back through my records and found out that, um, I guess I bought two rod and reels and gave them away. But, uh, man, this thing's already 13 minutes long, and I still got to pull the fish out. I hope y'all don't mind an 8-minute and a 15-minute video. But, um, yeah, I'll be back here in a minute. Sorry to keep saying that, but it'll be a minute. Ooh, what do y'all think? That looks done. Like I always say, I wish y'all could smell this. This smells so good. Oh, yeah, that's... I believe that's good and flaky enough. All right, well, let me get this off of here. It's going to be hot. I can't carry the phone and carry it at the same time, so give me a second. Checking in on Daniel's Danielle's taters. Yeah, they look yeah, about done. Oh, sorry, I ain't even getting y'all in the shot. But she said they got to be crispy, so it looks kind of crispy to me. Let me try one. Hmm, not bad. Mm. Wish I had some uh, ketchup though. We're all out of ketchup. All right, them taters are done, babe. Taters are done. Oh, look at that fish. 
Oh yeah. I don't know what it is. You put lemon, butter, garlic, and that parsley, which you can't see much, but it's on the fish. It just gives it a great taste. It kind of tastes like that uh, dipping sauce for the lobster, which anybody knows crawfish, that lemon and butter is just boy perfect. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm a lot of time right now. I'm not going to, well, I guess I can put it on a plate and show you all what it looks like. Uh, give me a second. All right, and that's the finished product. It ain't the prettiest, but I guarantee it's good. All right, well, I'm going to let y'all go. We're going to say our prayer so we can eat. But uh, just let y'all know that uh, C-Max, um, we're still praying for you. We're going to pray for it till it's all over with, and um, you're jumping up and down for joy because you're healed. But thanks, everybody. God bless.